Another deadly hit and run on a Jacksonville street. This time it was a man riding a bike. He was hit just after nine last night near the intersection of New Kings Road and Red Pole Avenue. The rider's name was Bruce Williams. He was 52 years old. People who live nearby tell us he was well liked in the neighborhood. They spoke with News 4 Jacks reporter Elizabeth Campbell, who's joining us from the scene of this latest tragedy. Elizabeth. Well, a great person and a respectable man. That's how he was described by people in this area. And it happened near this intersection of New Kings and Red Pole. And if you take a look at New Kings, it is a busy stretch of road. I've seen people cross today, both on bike and pedestrians. And many tell me whether it's more sidewalks, crosswalks, or flashing lights. They see something in this area needs to be done. A big police presence last night on New Kings Road as they investigated the death of a bicyclist who was hit and killed at Red Pole Avenue. Police say the driver didn't stop. Sadly, the person who died will join this group of people. Pedestrians or bicyclists hit and killed by drivers in Jacksonville who kept driving, leaving families mourning without answers. People who live in this area say this stretch of New Kings is very dangerous for bicyclists and pedestrians, not only because of the heavy amount of traffic is normally on New Kings, but also sidewalks. I'm standing on one now, but if you look across the way, you can see there's not one on just the other side here. One man who lives in the area says the man who was hit and killed last night is named Bruce. He says he lived in the area, rode his bicycle everywhere, and he can't believe just like that he's gone. Nice guy. Yes, ma'am. Good guy. I mean, if I needed some work done, I could pay him to do it. Like, you know, cut my mama grass or rake her yard. He hopes the person responsible will do the right thing and contact police. If you do it again, please stop. I mean, obviously it was an accident, so you could have easily pulled over and said, you know, and called the police instead of ran. Police and people who knew the bicyclist killed are asking anyone with information to come forward. According to our News 4 Jacks records, there are dozens of unsolved hit and runs in the last several years. Take a look at these numbers. So far this year, five pedestrians, one bicyclist, and one on a motorized wheelchair were killed. And from 2014 until 2016, 23 pedestrians unsolved. Now, when you involve hit and runs that include vehicles, those numbers go up even more. Uh, only fifth, excuse me, only 16 arrests in 51 cases in Jacksonville since 2014. Many of those investigations remain open, so it is never too late to call police. Reporting live from Northwest Jacksonville, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station.